So here we are at camp on the Mackenzie River and we just got off the mountain early today and paddled up the Mackenzie a couple kilometers which is a bit of a slog and this is our extraction point and it actually feels really cool to be on a larger piece of water like the Mackenzie. We can hear the roar of rapids in the distance and it's absolutely a beautiful spot here. And we have a little bit of time while we're waiting for our float plane so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a paddle out of a log and this is a great thing to practice because it can really really come in handy should you lose your paddle in a rapid when you're on a canoe trip. So I think it's a great skill to know before you head out into remote areas by canoe. So I had to walk quite a ways down river to find this log because there's not too many big enough trees here. And so I got a spruce log and the length you're going to want it for paddling flat water is about from your armpit down to your foot. One of the things you got to remember when you're making a paddle out of a log is that the thickness of your log is going to determine the width of your blade. So you can never come up with a paddle with a thicker blade than the width of your log. So here I have you know, a reasonably thick log and that's going to be more work but it's going to make what I think is a really sturdy paddle. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to split this large log down. So basically I'm going to split the middle out of it. So I'm going to take one side off and take the other side off and more or less try to make a board out of this log by just batoning it with the machete. I'm also going to have to cut a wedge and then use the wedge to further split it and I'm going to beat the wedge into it with the butt of the axe after I get the split going with the machete. Okay, and there's a wedge. Now I'm just making a, a crude sort of survival paddle here. Um, if you really want to get into it, I mean, you could use a crooked knife, uh, sandpaper, and really hone it down to a beautiful piece of artwork. The idea here is something that's going to get you out of the bush when you're in a pinch. Got that split open, we flipped it. I'm gonna take the wedge. I'm gonna wedge it right in there. So I got this log looking a lot more like a board now. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna work with a large knife to just kind of hack at it and try to even it out so it's about the same width throughout. Yeah. 
So basically what I'm going to start doing now is I'm going to start shaping the paddle. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start chopping here and here on either side. And that will form a handle on the top. And I'm going to want to be taking off pieces on this side and this side to then form a narrower shaft in the middle. I want to make sure I don't chop down too deeply into the grains on either side because that means that it'll split right through down the bottom and split my blade in half. Basically what I really want to pay attention to is that I'm going to be chopping in this side and everything down there is going to be the blade and I'm going to be chopping in here and everything up here is going to be the handle. So I want to make sure that I don't chop in here too deep or that I don't chop in here too deep because that means I'll get in too many grains deep and I'll either split the paddle blade or split my handle which would obviously ruin the whole kit and caboodle here. Um, so I'm just going to start doing that now. Uh, I find this big knife is great for that um, but a hatchet would also work or even a small axe. So I'm just paying attention to how many, how many grains I'm cutting in here right now. I'm making sure I don't cut down in too many grains right there. So I've cut in maybe five or six grains there. Probably cut in a couple more. And then I don't want that to split all the way to the bottom. So now what I'm going to do, for this end, I'm just going to chop in here about the same number of growth rings as I did at the handle. That means I won't split too much out. So you just want to be really careful around there right around where you're forming the handle and the blade. I'm just going to keep doing that. That's going to kind of shape our paddle a little bit better. Gotta be careful when you're chopping this so you don't want to slice into the blade into the blade of the paddle that is. Alright, so now we're kind of we're kind of starting to our paddle's kind of starting to take shape there. Um, so now I'm gonna do the other side in the same kind of way. Chop in there and chop in. So basically when you're chopping and you're removing pieces along the side to make your shaft, you're kind of chopping in a V shape. So at the blade, you're chopping in like that, and at the handle, you're chopping in like that too. Okay, so there we have sort of a rough paddle shape, like that. So now what I'm going to start doing is rounding out the handle. So I'm going to start just kind of cutting in on the edges around the handle and around the bottom of the shaft or top of the blade. I'm going to round that handle out a little and then I'm going to start basically just chopping the blade like this on either side and thinning it out. And the same thing with the handle and I'm going to start rounding out and smoothing out the shaft as well, but that's our basic paddle shape right there. I'm going to keep try to keep shaping this here, but there's only so much I can do chopping, and eventually I'm going to have to go to scraping with the knife, because uh, when you're chopping and it starts to get thin, you can um, start to screw things up a lot. Basically, you just keep going like this forever, and eventually it's done. It's never ending, you know? No. 
Okay, so I've sized out the handle a little bit. I've gotten it about as narrow as I want to get it by chopping. And now I'm gonna have to go to scraping to get the handle because once you get it this thin, if you keep chopping at it, it can get kind of sketchy and you could chop in too deep and ruin the whole thing. Um, so what I'm gonna start doing now is I'm gonna start thinning out the paddle blade. Obviously that's way too thick for a paddle blade. Um, that's going to be too heavy and clunky and you're not going to be able to steer your canoe well either. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using this knife here again and I'm just going to be chopping like this. Very carefully not to go in too deep but just taking off little pieces like that until I get it thin and I'm going to be doing that on both sides and when I get the right thickness I'll stop. I'm hardly taking anything off the sides of the blade other than just the bark. So I got that paddle blade down a lot thinner. Still maybe take a little bit more off of there. Now I'm going to work at shaping the handle a little bit and rounding out the shaft. How you round out the shaft, you don't want to carve into it at this point like that because you could get in too deep and that line of grain might split too far, split too deep in the handle and weaken it. So basically at this point what you have to do is scrape and you just have to hold your knife at right angles like this and just go back and forth, back and forth like that. And basically, we're just gonna round out this shaft like that until we have something that feels really good to hold on and is a little narrower than this. Okay, so now we got the shaft rounded out, nice on my hand, and uh, I've taken a few minutes just to whittle the handle down a little bit, um, just to round the edges on the side and on the top there. I've scraped the shaft until it's almost equally round at all places and much smoother and I have sliced down the blade of the paddle as well so the blade is much thinner and that actually uh, takes a lot of weight off of the overall weight of the paddle you know it's, it's pretty the paddle is pretty thin um, and you know what it doesn't weigh all that much either it is a piece of wet spruce when that dries out it's going to be a lot lighter and so there we have a crude paddle and this will get you home actually if you wanted to you could take it another step and sand this all down get it nice and smooth shellac it or whittle it down perfectly make it all even but this paddle right here will get you out of the bush just fine Go give it a shot.
success. Well, I made almost the same kind of paddle on the show alone, and it took me a hell of a lot longer because we had to spend so much time getting food every day, cutting wood, and of course, we were exhausted. So, and of course, we had very low energy. So it's amazing how much faster I whip this up out here when I'm well fed.